mind if I have a little drink of water? Okay. You're going to be all right. We ought to be at Forson's place this time tomorrow, Todd. Tomorrow? But I thought we'd be on the trail at least another four or five days. Hell, you were unconscious for four and a half days. <laughs> we're in Texas. If anybody knew what we were carrying in this wagon, our lives wouldn't be worth a plug nickel. That's true. And if I don't make it, all the gold will become yours. You're not that sick a man, Todd. I must be. Supposing I don't live through this. I only want you to promise me to get Forsens. Swear it on my death. All right, I do. I know what it means to you. My sister. The only person in the world who meant anything to... I'll get even. I'll have my revenge when I own that ranch. They'll know I'm somebody then. Yeah, that's right. Especially since you made me a part. Oh, miss. Hold on. Excuse me. Miss Ambler, isn't it? You don't think there'll be any trouble over the sale of the ranch, do you? Wait, and you'll find out when my brother comes back. Now, you tell your brother to think twice about taking any action. If he's prepared to hold on to his ranch, then he's got to be prepared to lose it. Hey, mister. Take your hands off the lady, and from now on, you better keep them off. <laughs> There's nothing prettier than an angry woman. Especially if she's kind of pretty when she's calm. <laughs> Jack's the one you're going to have to look out for. The one in the middle. The other two are just hard hands. He's about as fast as they'd come, I'd say. I'll remember that. No. Don't fight. Do me a favor. Don't fight. You're Jack, huh? Well, well, good old Jack. Now, let's see what kind of a man you really are. Take off your gun and tell your men to do the same. We'll settle this business right now. You talk big, mister. The same way you did with the colonel. I don't fight with my fists. Well, you fought my friend, didn't you? You're gonna fight me now the same way. He wasn't wearing a gun. That's why he's still alive. You ain't gonna be that lucky, Mallory. Jack, I gave you an order. Now you get out of here. I don't reckon I work for you. I'm working for your brother. All right, let's put him on the ground. Now. Now, get the hell out of here and take him with you. You see that? He was probably the quickest gun in the whole state. And Mallard dropped him like a sack of potatoes.
Thanks, amigos. Well, I got patience. 